Welcome to another DIY project. Before calling the professional, maybe it's DIYable. This time, we are talking about rain gutter or yeast drops problem of your house. I am gonna show you how to fix the water leak and also fixing the loose nail on your house. Not on the first floor, it's on the second floor without using a leather. Yes, you heard it right. That sounds exciting, isn't it? Let's get started. The red color house on the right is my neighbor's house. He has a water leaking problem on the second floor. For me, I have a loose gutter nails or spike on my second floor. We got a quote, $250 Canadian to fix the water leaking gutter and $100 Canadian to fix the loose nail. The key point here is, there is no warranty. The DIY fix I'm gonna show you is one third of the pro. My neighbor gave me 200 bucks after I fixed his problem. I made a profit of $100. The tools invested worth the money because it can benefit the rest of your life. I had this telescopic aluminum snow removal tool for the roof. I got this from Costco 10 years ago. It's cheap, less than $30 Canadian. It comes with 3 quarter of an inch ACME thread at the end of the pole. It's universal fit. It's the same for the broomstick and the paint roller. Before fixing anything, we need to examine what's up there. I am attaching my GoPro at the end of the pole using my favorite releasable zip tie. As you can see, there is a big crack on the edge. The silicon is separated from the aluminum gutter. There may be more than one crack, we will see. There is a lot of debris. Basically, the granules from the shingles are all over the place. We need to remove all of them. We are attaching a shop vac to the pole. For any serious DIY people, you should have a vacuum hose in your garage, which is long enough to reach the roof. Let's check it out. Nope, it's not cleaned enough. This time, it looks good. All the granules from the shingles are gone from the two corners. I don't usually recommend as seen on TV products, but this is an exception. Flex seal is pretty amazing. I got a bottle from a local hardware store. Next, you need to buy this little gadget. I got mine from Amazon. It's called Gotcha Sprayer Adapter. The build quality is outstanding because it's made in USA, not the made in China crap. As you can see here, we can control the spray very precisely. That's the good part. However, there is one huge problem. In order for this to work on the roof, I need to adjust the angle to 90 degrees. The solution is to bite the adjustable adapter. I need two of them because the size of the spray can is big. This is what it should look like and is able to support this vertically. When you pull the twine, the plastic will press against the nozzle. With the 90 degrees adapter installed, it works flawlessly. If you have good eyes, you see I switch to another bottle. It's clear, not black in color, because I don't want to change the color of the shingles accidentally. I think you got the idea, just be patient. After finishing the spray from the top, I changed the angle this way, so I can spray it from the bottom. Honestly, spraying from the bottom is not really doing anything to stop the water. But just to show you how we can control the spray precisely even 20 feet above the ground. Time to check it out using the GoPro again. Yes, there were some paint went on top of the flashing. It's not possible to avoid, but overall it's looking very good. The two corners which have potential cracks are now covered in white. There are two ways to test this. You can wait for heavy rain or you can buy this Gutter Master Pro 16 feet telescopic water fat pole with curved end. My friend got one, so I borrowed it from him. I don't recommend this, it's a waste of money. You don't need this for the repair. It's very heavy with running water. It's hard to control. I wouldn't even use it for cleaning, honestly. That's a good amount of rain. Alright, look at that. 
There is no more leak. That is freaking amazing. Let's take a look at it from another angle. Yep, it is fixed. I have a disclaimer to make. This video is not sponsored. I am not affiliated with any of the products shown in the video. I just want to help all of you DIY people from the bottom of my heart. Next, we are going to fix the loose cutter nail 20 feet above ground. It looks very difficult, but we will make it work. We need the right tool for the job, and we will make one. The adjustable adapter I showed you in the first part of the video has an opening in the front. It's perfect to fit a galvanized carriage bolt. However, it's a little bit loose. I am going to use my favorite magic wrap to wrap around it. This will create some friction. The wrapping is done. Look, it's not going to move anymore. Using a file and make the top completely flat like a hammer. I am trying out another tape. This one is not as good as magic wrap. Don't waste your money. Anyways, I left some tape at the very end to act as a cushion. So it won't damage the plastic adapter when we are doing the hammering. Looking very good, that's what we want. That's a little bit far away, I will zoom in for the action. Now you can see the loose nail clear. It's getting there, be patient. Look, it's perfectly flush with the aluminum cutter. No need to call for professional if you can fix it yourself. They are trying to charge me $100 Canadian for this. No way. I hope this helps. If you find some good information in this video, give this a thumbs up. Next time, we will work on the French drain for the soil erosion and drainage problem. I am pretty sure you don't want to miss that. My goal is to inspire more people into DIY. You may also want to check out other videos on my channel. I am pretty sure you would love them. Remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.